Well, hello everybody again. I have a new recipe I want to share. This is my Mexican lasagna recipe. It's much easier to make than my last one, so I'll bring it in close so you can take a look at all the ingredients you'll need to make it. Alrighty, let's talk ingredients. Starting off, you're going to need either flour or spinach tortillas, a can of refried beans, a can of black beans, your favorite salsa, I really like the taste of this particular brand a lot, and as an added bonus, it's made in Frisco, Texas. Um, but yeah, whatever, whatever you like is going to work just fine, uh, and it goes without saying, the more heat you want, that's up to you. You're going to use some Mexican cheese, some of McCormick's Hot Taco Seasoning Mix, some cilantro, ground beef, uh, you can use uh, uh, ground turkey as well if you'd like and some corn. All right, the first step of the cooking process is we're gonna go ahead and brown the ground beef or turkey that you have. So go ahead and set a pot or a pan to medium heat and brown your meat. All right, now that you have your ground beef or turkey browned, Go ahead and strain the meat so you can get the excess fat off of it. Alright, once you've drained your meat of the excess fat, <laughs> uh, once you have... <laughs> uh, once you have... <laughs> okay, after you've gotten your mind out of the gutter, uh, once you've removed the fat from the meat, go ahead and bring the meat back. <laughs> bring your uh, your beef or turkey back to the pan, and uh, you're gonna add, you're gonna follow the instructions on your taco seasoning. So go ahead and uh, add the taco seasoning and three fourth cups of water. And you're just going to stir this up and bring it to a boil. Okay, as you can tell, I brought it to a boil. So what you're going to do next is you're going to set your heat to low and let it simmer for five minutes while stirring occasionally. All right, for this next step, you're going to use a baking dish. I'm using a Pyrex three quart one here. And what you're going to do is you're going to line it with either parchment paper or wax paper. And uh, what I like to do to help out so nothing sticks to the bottom of it is using some extra virgin olive oil spray. Alright, go ahead and strain and rinse your black beans. Alright, for this next step, you're going to use your tortillas and cut them into squares. And uh, you're going to line your baking dish with them by playing a game of Tetris. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but uh, just basically line the bottom of your baking dish uh, with the tortillas. And you should be able to get the job done with just three tortillas. Okay, the next base of your lasagna is going to be half of your black beans. So go ahead and add those in there. Go ahead and spread your black beans evenly over the tortilla base. All right, once you have your black beans evenly spread apart across the base, you're going to go ahead and add in half of your refried beans and spread that evenly across this as well. All right, now that you have your refried beans spread out evenly, you're going to add in half of your meat and spread that out evenly as well. All right, now that you have your meat spread out evenly, you're gonna go ahead and add in all of the corn and spread that out evenly as well. Okay, once you have your corn evenly spread out, you're gonna add in half your salsa and spread that out evenly as well. 
Okay, once you have your salsa spread evenly, now you're gonna add in half of the cheese and spread that evenly uh, over on top as well. All right, once you have your cheese evenly spread out, you're gonna do another layer of tortillas. Okay, once you have the tortillas layered out again, you're gonna add in the final half of your black beans, spread that out evenly over. And you're also gonna do the same thing with the other half of your refried beans as well. All right, now that you have both your halves of your beans spread out, you're gonna go ahead and add the last half of your meat. All right, once you have your meat spread evenly across, you're gonna go ahead and add in one cup of your chopped cilantro. And you guessed it, you're gonna spread that out evenly across. After your cilantro, you're gonna do your last half of your cheese. Spread that out evenly, of course. And for your final layer, you're gonna add in the last half of your salsa and spread that out evenly across. That was the last layer. So now what you're gonna do is preheat an oven to 350 degrees and throw this in there for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, with the power of time travel, I was able to speed up and jump into the future 20 minutes. And it appears to be done. All right, just after 25 minutes, it looks like it's ready to plate up. All right, there you have it in all its glory, Mexican lasagna. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Take care.